So in the last lecture, we have successfully run the Docker image of Hello World. So right now in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to run, uh, we are going to tag the image. Okay. So we have this image. So again, let me show you. So this is the Docker image that we of Hello World that we have created. So how we are going to tag a name for this image. So there is another two way, but I am using uh, the Docker build command. So you can just use the Docker build and dot. So in the previous video, we are using this command like a Docker build and dot. So it's automatically building the Docker images, but it don't have any username or uh, not the username. It's not have any name to our image. But right now what we are going to do, we are using the Docker build command again. But one thing we have changed, like the you are using the minus T tag here. And the first thing we are adding the username of our Docker registry. So if you go on the Docker hub, so once you log into your Docker hub account, then you can just see right now from the top right corner, there is a username here. So my profile name, uh, my profile pic and the username, the Ruit Marathi and the same username you have to use here. Then we have to use the forward slash and the give uh, and name uh, for this image. So I am just using the hello dash world. So you are might be thinking is what is the need of using this username forward slash and the repository name. So this is the same thing you have also seen in the GitHub account as well. So let me show you. So as in the GitHub account, what we have the GitHub account, the username, and if we open any repository, so the repository name, like the same format is using here. So this is the proper way to build a Docker image because once you build the Docker image and let's suppose if you want to push this Docker image to the Docker registry. So this is the, so this is the actual way to how you can just tag your Docker image. Okay. And later on we can just push to the Docker registry. Okay. So we are using the same command at Docker build minus team. First your username and forward slash the anything, the name you want to give for this Docker image. So I'm just giving the hello dash word and then use the dot. Okay. Because dot means the Docker file is available in the current directory. So I'm using the dot then simply press enter. So as you can see that our image is built successfully. So let's check it out. So again, I am using the Docker images command, Docker images. And as you can see that we have the, this two image, like the first one, the Ruit Marathi dash a uh, forward slash hello dash world. And the second is hello dash world. Okay. So right now what we are going to do, we are going to run this Docker image. Okay. So I'm just copy this name and again, just clear this one, all the things and again, run the same command, the Docker run and just paste this one. And if you press enter and we can just get a output in the window. Okay. Hello to everyone. Okay. So let's move on the next point and understand about the caching. So again, if I run the same command, like the Docker build and minus T and again, so once your image is built, then I have to take a closer look on that third and the, uh, the second and the third stage. So there is a word called cache and the cache in the second and third stage. So what does is mean? So if you are building any Docker image like this one, so while building the Docker images at that time, so every command is run on the temporary container, which means the from the command is running in the temporary container and the working directory is running in the temporary container. Every command is running in the separate Docker container, but it's temporary Docker container. And after that, the finally we can see the build of the final images. Okay. So if you want to add another files and that file should be copy from your system to the Docker container or to the Docker image. So how we are going to do that. So for simply, we are going to create another, uh, file name. It's also known as index, not the index one. Mm -hmm. About dot takes team. And one thing I, I have to show you, uh, for that reason, I have created this file. Uh, this is, this is the simple about file. Okay. So I just save this one. So again, I'm using the same copy command and copying them about dot txt file and pasting in the working directory of my app. I have saved all the things. Let's run again the same command like the docker build. 
okay and minus t and with marathi and forward slash hello dash world so as you can see that our image is built but one thing you have to be remember so in the second and the third stage we can see that we are using the cache but in the fourth stage we are using nothing one because we have freshly just introduced this command so if we are adding any command so what will happen so it uses the cache from the previous containers okay but it's not going to use the previous container here because we have add the new command so it will be create a new container and run the command like the copy and the about.txt in the temporary container and later on we can just get the output of the final image okay so let's suppose if i run this command again so what will happen so if i run this command again so as you can see that in the second third and the fourth stage is using the cache okay so the, again the same thing is happening here so after running the docker build comma second time what will happen so it's use the temporary container okay so it can be helpful for building the images faster for this reason most of the company is using the docker so i hope you are understand all the points like the tagging of the image and the caching and see you guys in the next lecture